Well, g'day guys. We've got the little UMX radium here, and uh, we've done a little mod on it. Uh, this is the battery that we were using that comes with the uh, E-Flight radium. It doesn't actually come with the E-Flight radium, it's the one that's recommended. Little 150 milliamp hour pack. Now, what we've done, we've taken the socket off the lead here and this is a little 1.25 millimeter UMX socket and we've upgraded it to a 2.0 millimeter socket the UMX socket so it's the next size up and the way we did that you can see here uh, it's just uh, soldered Let's see if I can just get this sort of just nicely down there Soldered with some heat shrink on there, no problem, just fits in there nicely. Uh, the batteries now, we've up upgraded to the, uh, uh, the LiPo high voltage, so they charge at uh, 4.35 and these are 250 milliamp hour batteries. I might just swing that around. You might just see it a little bit easier with the uh, light on it. Not sure. Yeah. So, we've got four of them. We buy bought, 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 bought a packet of four. Uh, and this charging board does both batteries. It does the original batteries, which plug in here, in the smaller socket. Uh, and I've got the four batteries here. I get an extra two minutes of flight time. But it's not that, it's not that, it's not the flight time, what it is, if you give it full throttle to gain amplitude, uh, with the recommended 150 milliamp hour battery, you hit a low voltage warning on the DX9, uh, it'll pull it down to about uh, 3.4 very quickly. You back the throttle off, no problem. But yeah, the capacity of these is pretty poor. Although it's okay. Uh, but I've tried it with the uh, 250 milliamp hour battery. Definitely more power. And you can go to about five minutes before you get a low voltage warning at full throttle. It's not a plane that you would use full throttle very often. It's just something to get it up in the air at an altitude where you can uh, cruise around and glide a bit. So, yeah, I'm charging these at the moment. Um, no problem. This very handy charging board here. Or, if I'm out in the field, I'll use this one and it conveniently plugs into a pack that I've got a uh, XT60 connector. Now, this will do both the batteries, but what's very interesting with this is you'll see on the top there there's some little micro switches. Switched one way, it'll charge at uh, 200 milliamp hour, and switch the other way, it'll charge at 500 milliamp hour. Obviously, we have it all selected on 200. Uh, 500 is a bit high. Uh, but yeah, this is this is very handy. It's got some little LED lights on there that go off when the batteries have charged, and that they can go off individually depending on uh, the starting charge point. But on the end, as a a 5 volt USB out, a micro, micro USB. Uh, so it's very cheap, very handy board for charging in the field. I just like have a couple of batteries in plugged in and I have it hanging out of my pocket. So yeah, very good. And I put a little bit of red texture on there just to assist. Uh, when installing these, you'll see the little red arrow there. 
So, yeah, just a little upgrade. No, it's nothing much. Just just adds to the pleasure of flying. Um, the uh, there's no problem with the with the board taking that extra voltage. It's really. I mean, you, you give it full throttle to get to the altitude, and then you just back off. That's it. So, questions, leave a comment. Any questions, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching there. All right.